So, if the question is why do you want to be union, the main thing is job security and protection. That's the main thing. Here in California, um, there are statutes and laws that provide for employers to um, enter into single agreements with every employee that they have that you're at will. That means you can be terminated for no reason or any reason. They can just say, tomorrow, we're done with you. We no longer need your service, services. Goodbye. That's what it means to be at will. Under a union collective bargaining agreement, the labor agreement, the contract, you're protected from being summarily dismissed in that way. They can't just fire you and discharge you because they choose to. They have to follow a labor agreement which provides a, a disciplinary procedure for them to discharge you. And if you feel that discharge is unjust, you have a union to contact, you have a voice, you have a person, a business agent who can come in there and fight to protect you from being discharged in such ways. If there's no labor agreement, there's no union, there's no contract, you're on your own. If you're a union, you have a voice. You have a voice at your job. You can call that union if you're being mistreated. You can call that business agent if you're being fired. <clears throat> That's uh, the uh, protection. That's the job security that you have under a union labor agreement that you do not have if you're not union. If you're not union, you're on your own. It's between you and the employer. But under a union, you have collective bargaining. You All of you are collected together to negotiate a contract that will protect you. Uh, I can give you an example. In 2008 at SFO, um, we have in the rent-a-car sector, an employer who is represented by the Teamsters Union. They have uh, a collective bargaining agreement that represents a group of workers. Two miles away, that same employer has a group performing the same work that is non-union. They were non-union in 2008 and had been for at least 10 years. That employer decided one day, we no longer need any of you. There are about 20 of them. And they dismissed them, gave them all discharge papers and said, if you want to continue to work here, go to work at this subcontractor. They'll hire you. And they all lost their jobs. They were non-union. That employer could not do this at SFO because they're represented by union contract. And they're still represented in those 148 workers at SFO at this employer are still working today under a collective bargaining agreement because they're represented by a union. Um, so that's the main thing. It's job protection, job security. That's huge. Um, in terms of the um, contract itself, that contract um, offers you job protection, wages, hours, working conditions, and benefits, including, of course, wages, where the union negotiates a labor agreement, usually between three and five year contract, which guarantees wage increases. Medical coverage, in most cases, a retirement plan. Um, and of course, working conditions that include um, some layoff protection. If you were hired on this particular day and 15 years later, the employer needs to lay off, under a union contract, you have 15 years of seniority built up. The company can't decide, okay, we have a union contract here, we're gonna lay off the a 15 year guy and keep the guy who started a year ago, your layoff would be secured because of your seniority. There's job protection by seniority. Under a non-union employer, there is no seniority protection. They can say, you know what, we need to, uh, business is slow, 
we're gonna uh, lay off uh, uh, our, some of our members. They're gonna go to the highest paid guy and maybe say, you know what, we're gonna keep the lower paid guy uh, while we're engaged in this uh, contraction in our business. Where are you gonna go? A collective bargaining agreement is a legally binding contract between you, the member, and the employer that's enforceable by law. If you're a non-union worker, you don't have that. It's you against the employer. It's as simple as that. Um, there's a reason why, I mean, if you think about it, Steph Curry, Tom Brady are part of a collective bargaining agreement. They're in a union. So are the umpires. So are the referees. They're all part of a union. Why? Job security and protection. And any worker here in the United States who is working every day should consider maintaining their union employment or joining a union.